Good evening folks, welcome to Beer Rating with Sean Connors, day 13 of our beer advent calendar. Basically you open up a door and behind the door is a beer that I've never had before. All these beers are gold medal beers, they've won gold medals at various festivals and they've never been sold in Canada. And most are from the United States, I think there is one from the UK, one from New Zealand we had yesterday. And a couple from Belgium, Australia, that's about it. So day 13. Will it be a nail? Will it be a lager? I'm willing to bet it's probably going to be a nail. That seems to be most of them. And we have... Hmm. It's Ripple White Ale. It's American. 5% alcohol. It says Ale with Orange. Now White Ale, ones I've seen in the past, normally White Ale, I think it's I'm not sure if it's Belgium, but it's European, one of the European countries. And they say white ale, they basically mean a wheat ale. So I'm not sure if this is the same, uh, the same as that. Uh, Four Hands Brewing Company. It says it pairs well with seafood and brunch. Uh, St. Louis. That's about all it says. So I'll zoom in so you can see the can before I pour it up. So, there you go, Ripple White Ale. So curious whether or not this is actually a wheat ale or not. For some reason I have my doubts, but I'm not really sure. Alright, I've given my glass a quick cold water rinse as per usual. It's almost like a straw color. Not a lot of head. Ale with orange. Hmm. Um, almost no head there. Straw color, but it's not clear, so it's probably unfiltered. Um, typical ale aroma, nothing to jumping out at me, nothing too heavy. Alright, let's give it a taste. Hmm. It's definitely got a fruity taste to it. I assume that would be the orange. Definitely a, a citrus fruity thing going there. bad. Um, doesn't seem to be a lot of carbonization. For me it's kind of flat. That's what it, it seems like it's a little bit flat. It's not doesn't seem to be any life to it. So that for me would not be a positive. It wouldn't turn me off completely from it but I definitely would like to see some more carbonization. Um, not a lot of aftertaste, and in all, in all honesty, there's not a lot of taste there at all. I'd go so far to say, kind of boring. I was actually expecting a little bit more, especially the first mouthful. You know, I kind of got the citrus, fruity flavor from it, but that's, I don't know, it's just... There's no lingering aftertaste, which is fine with me, but there's no real flavor to it, no real kick, I guess. Um, hmm. There's something there. I can't put my finger on it. Something there that reminds me 
of a specific wheat ale that I've had in the past. And I'm pretty sure a lot of wheat ales, they say cloves and banana is a flavor there. I'm not quite getting the same as that. But yeah, this definitely reminds me of a certain, I'm not sure what type of wheat ale it was that I've had in the past. A lot of wheat ales, if I remember correctly, they say you get the taste of banana and cloves. And it's not in your face, but for me it's definitely there. So I'm starting to think that this probably is a wheat ale. Let's see if I see anything about the ingredients. No, they don't even give the ingredients. Hmm. I'll definitely have to go online and check out the Four Hands Brewing just to find out exactly what it is. Actually, I'm just going to go quickly online just to see if it is a wheat ale. Like I said, from my knowledge, and I'm no beer expert by any means, but from what I do know about beers, Pretty sure that a white ale is a wheat ale. All right, they say Ripple is a Belgium white ale with orange peel. Brewed brew with generous portions of wheat. This is a smooth, refreshing beer with a bright, fruity aroma. Pours golden in color and slate haze. So there you go. It's a wheat ale, and I'm kind of getting the banana cloves taste there. Um, the orange, like I said, is kind of citrus the first taste, but it doesn't stick with you. All right, but it's it's obviously an easy drinking beer. I mean, it's almost gone. All right, to give it a rating. Excuse me. I almost wish they had something saying that yes, it is a wheat ale. I suppose if you are a beer expert, you'll probably look at that and say white ale. It's a wheat ale. However, if you're an average Joe beer drinker like myself, you might not know that right offhand. Now I've done geez, almost 150 odd videos and I've obviously a beer drinker a lot longer than that. So I am a little bit familiar with beer and so I started doing the videos. I have done more research into different, different beer styles but other than that I probably wouldn't have known that it's a weed ale. Alright, give it a rating out of five. One, drain port, don't like it, can't finish it, I'm going to port down the drain. A two would be, yeah I'm not a big fan but I'll finish it. A three would be a good beer, a four would be a very good beer, and five would be the best beer ever. Um, with this one, I'm always going to finish it, so it's above a two. If it had some more carbonization and there was a little bit more life to it, I think I'd be more inclined to give it maybe a three, three and a half. But without that, I'm kind of... Uh, it's just bland. So I think I'm going to give it a 2.5, which, you know, that's in between. Not a big fan, but I'll finish it. And it's a good beer. Um, like I said, a little bit of carbonization, I'll probably give it a 3. But it's just, there just seems to be something missing there. Probably the carbonization. It really doesn't just. I'd have, a, have it again if somebody offered it to me, but I definitely wouldn't go out of my way for it. There you go, folks. 2.5. I think that's a fair rating for my views of the Ripple White Ale from Four Hands Brewing Company. Hopefully you can join me tomorrow, day 14. See what pleasure we got in the box. Until all, sorry, until next brew, as always, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.